Thanks everybody for the new call. If you listen to the replay, I really thank for your time that you take out of your day to watch another training. And I like to know if you are new today. Are you on the first time of this training and you never have seen a training from Jack? Enter yes if you are new. So James is new. Hockey is new, Rebecca is new, Linda is new, Colin is new, Greg is new, and Clarence has a black screen, but he's not new. So, welcome, and I'm really looking for a long-term relationship. I don't care if you only come one uh, time on the training. I care about that you come the next time and the next time and that you um, reach your goal. So it is now January, New Year, and you probably had time during Christmas or between Christmas and New Year to think back and kind of kind of said to yourself, I want to change something, correct? And now you bought maybe a product from Jack and ask yourself, what do I need to do now, correct? That's how it goes. So, what is the most important thing what you need to do from now on. Patrick, sell, Peter, take action, Raymond, take action, action, Larry, take action, stay focused, yes. So, get new clients, call this prospect to send out emails, yes, yes, yes. Prospect. So, the most important thing what you need to do is take action, correct? If you you know for 100% sure, if you don't take action, you don't get where you want to be. So, what should you spend 30% of your time? 30% of your time, what, what would you need to do? Of, you take action, so we agree on that you take action. What? One third of the time. So let's assume you have three hours per day. Three hours per day to spend on internet marketing. What need you to do one of those three hours? Fulfillment. Prospect, call leads, prospect, prepare for prospect, follow up. Yeah, a lot of good answer. Work on your business. You tell me. <laughs> hey, James. I wanted to know what you do up to now. I will tell. Don't worry. But what have you do be done so far? What are you? Nothing. Wow. Are you totally new in internet marketing? Okay. He say new. So at least you haven't wasted your time. Okay. Because you're new. So one third of the time needs to get dedicated on getting new clients. At a certain point, you have enough clients and you get referrals. So that becomes much easier at a certain point. But you need, I don't know, between the 25 or 50 clients. And as long as you haven't reached that, you're going to work, at least you're going to spend your time 
one third of your time trying to get new clients. That is the only way to become successful. If you don't get credit cards, you just um, treat it as a hobby. And don't you want to do something where you get paid for? Don't you want to be independent? Don't you want to stay at home, nice office, fast computer, fast internet? Not be in the, in the traffic jam anymore? So to read that, you need clients. You need paying clients. And in order to get paying clients, yeah, you need to put your energy in it, correct? So tell me if you agree on that so far. First thing is you need to take action. Second one is one third of your time you spend on getting new clients. Okay, so we are all good so far, okay? Now comes the third point. How do you get new clients? And that is where we all differ a little bit. Correct? That is where we some like visiting store uh, local business. Some like stay at home and pick up the phone. Some like to post an ad and they get called to get business and you just answer to them. Or you use a prospecting tool and you send out emails. Okay, here we differ a little bit. It doesn't matter so much. You select, you pick what you like, but you do, at least you prospect. Do we agree on this? Okay, so some like to email, some like to post ad, some like to pick up the phone, some like to network, some like to knock on the doors, it doesn't matter. As long as you are active, there are only in the United States are 20 million local businesses, okay? I, if I can get 10 times more business I can handle, I don't want because I I have I I cannot expand my time is just limited okay but and I'm not special correct I'm not that special I have a strong accent so I don't feel that I'm special but there's one thing there's one thing what local business really want what is that what is the one thing that local businesses want Clients, new clients, revenue, leads, new business, leads. Yeah, <laughs> I can see who's on my call for a while and who's new. So local business wants to make money. If you can help them to make money, they like you to pay for it, correct? So they want to have an ROI. Now, of course, someone to do the IM for them. Yes, they do want that. But if you speak with a business owner, you need to speak in a way that you help them to make money. So, for example, you are in conversation with a business owner and you want, you want of course, sell your service. And if, if you would say, 
if I can get you new client for less than fifty dollar each, would you make money with that? And if you know that is an HVAC, an air conditioning client, or a plumber client, or an insulation client, whatever, what do you think they will answer? Of course, they want your business. If you speak with a dentist, hey dentist, I am specialized in sending leads via Google AdWords management, via Google AdWords. And I have a winning campaign, keywords and a website. And with my existing clients, I'm able to send you new leads for $50. Would that work for you? What do you think? 99 of the businesses they want and they need more business. Correct? So I I always, oh no, no, always, I get very often the question, Jack, do you have a phone script for me? Do you have an email template? It's it's not about the email template. It's not about the phone script. It's about your mindset. Your mindset is I can help local businesses to make money. Okay? So, let's turn this around. Hey Jimmy, how are you? I'm good. Hey Jimmy, if I can make if I can make you thousand dollar a month and my training my coaching costs only one hundred dollar what would you do Jimmy of course Jack I want your help correct so turn this around if you can make in businesses if you can make in business make money 99% they want your service correct is this clear is this is this does this ring a bell at you okay so so first thing is what was first thing again taking action Second thing is, is you spend at least one third of your time on prospecting. Your third time is the prospecting method doesn't care so much as long as you prospect. And the fourth is, in the conversation, you do that in a way that you make that you help local businesses make money, correct? It's kind of simple, correct? Now, there are some fine-tuning things, but I will speak now about it, okay? Yes, we got James is a little bit ahead of the curve now. So, if you post an ad, they probably want to check you out, correct? So how do they check you out? They're going to look up your website, correct? If you, which service you offer and those kind of things. You're so just a general impression. Now I'm going to demo how you can be and you know, get that credibility in five minutes. No worry. So this will be one of the demos tonight. But that is, is that important? No, the most important is you take action. But some businesses, especially well bigger ones, they want to check you out, correct? So you, you set up a nice website for yourself. 
So then the next question is, which you have to determine a little bit for yourself is, which service do you want to offer? You can not be a specialist in everything unless you are done, correct? But we are, most of us are not done. So which service, I'm just joking, so which service do you want to offer? And let me yeah, enter, enter this question, okay, answer this question. Which service do you want to offer local business? Nice websites, AdWords, should be honest if my business is just me, one person, Roofer, Maps, Google My Business, AdWords, Website Design, Reputation, AdWords, Leads, Website, and Google My Business, Lead Generation. Wow, those are all good. Now, I forgot something. I forgot something to say. Choose. Okay, let me frame it a little bit different, that question. Would you rather have $500 instantly or, yeah, let's do it on the low end, $100, $200 per month. Would you rather have $1,500, no, I think $1,500, $1,500, I think that is what local business are willing to pay, or $200 per month. $1,500 instant or $200 per month? Both. <laughs> yeah, I like you, Petra. I don't think both will work often. So, um, it's up to you, okay? how I have organized my business and it, ha and it has worked out very well is I do only recurring. I have, I have, I have just the opinion and I don't do anything for single payment. Okay? And I don't want a client one time. I just want recurring. And if you stick with that, it will build up over time. Assume you spend one third of your time on prospecting. And you sign up one client per week. That's not much, correct? So, and you earn $200 per client. That's also not much, okay? So in a month, you have four times 200 is $800 the first month. That's also not a much. You cannot quit a job for $800. The next month, you earn also $800 new and $800 from the past month. So it's $1,600 per month. Now it becomes a little bit interesting, correct? And the third month you add another eight hundred dollar to the equation. So now it's two thousand four hundred. Do you think that is hard to achieve? It is not. It is really not. And the beauty of if you organize your business is that at a certain point you don't need to prospect anymore because you have all those recurring payments coming in. And if a client drops because of the referral system, you get new clients. So this has worked out for me very well. And I see no reason why you cannot do it the same way. Now, in the service, 
but you provide needs to have a recurring element, okay? They, you want to give them a reason to stick with you, okay? So here I will mention some service. Who does re reputation management? Enter yes, if you do a reputation management. Okay. So for reputation management, you need to stay on top of the reviews, correct? So it's very logic that you fix problems, that you check problems and fix problems. So there's an ongoing ongoing work involved, okay? You, you, you get more reviews and you fix bad reviews. So now it's very, very logic that the client pays monthly for it. Who does Google My Business uh, service? Google My Business. So there is the first setup and there's the ranking part, correct? And the ranking is not that easy nowadays, correct? So you have to work hard with citations, so you sell it as an SEO service. So if you sell it as an SEO service, then the client understands there is a monthly activity going on. And for a monthly activity, the clients are willing to pay for it. Agree? So, who does Google uh, AdWords management or is planning to do it? Now, this is the holy grail. Holy grail is Google AdWords management, in my opinion. So, it's very obvious that there is a monthly, monthly uh, task involved in it. Eh? So, uh, with keywords, with ads, it's kind of a challenge to learn. Google change over time. So, it's very natural that there's a monthly activity going on, correct? So, those will pay you monthly for sure. And the best thing is they stick for a long time with you. So, do you guys see that you want to provide a service that has a monthly activity? So, if you do a website, include hosting, include security, and in include, let's say, one hour per month update. You guys get it? So, pack it up, okay? then you don't call it hosting anymore you call it managed hosting managed hosting hey Jack it sounds much different yes managed hosting sounds much different so now there's an activity around it so guys get it go after a monthly uh, service where it makes sense that you ask um, ask a monthly fee for it. How does website leasing work? So website leasing is you rank the website, you kind of uh, make sure it ranks for certain keywords and those keywords are um, they make sense for that business who rent your website so if the if you are able to rank a website for Plumber City on the first page of Google that business likes to have that traffic for their business and they pay for it so if you are good in SEO and you generate leads, or you're able to generate leads, you can lease that website. Will said press cable and website leasing is great. Yeah, Will is pretty successful with SEO. 
What do you charge for website building and for managed hosting? I charge $197 per month. I do not have one single client which pays me less than $197 per month. So that is what I do. I don't care so much if they say no, so I may be in a little bit different position, but that is what I charge. Any setup fee? No, but I make sure I own the property. If they cancel, the website is gone, so they don't cancel. Yeah, you can charge for building the website. It's up to you, kind of. I don't care, and you will find it over and over again. I don't care that I get a fee, instant fee. So that is probably that is me. I'm very, I care very much how I, how much I earn monthly. So, but it's up to you. So that is how I do, uh, how I treat my uh, clients. So, oh my God, there's a lot of information, correct? So, can I ask you a question? If you're new to this training, first time on this call, was this useful to you? Did you expect this? Do you like this? Is this helping you? So, more please. <laughs> Hey Colin, for $10? Huh? You want more? Really? I'm kidding. So, uh, I will demo how to set up a website. Okay, no worries. You will be amazed how, how simple things uh, can be. Oh, yes, a contract. The must must be in the resources. I think I have to log in now. I think I put it. Uh, let's see if I can log in in the membership site. Okay, where are the resources? Here are the resources. Oh, webinar special, $100 service contract here. You see this? Those are all resources. Call us now, Imsbank Forum, Imsbank Website Client Intake Questionnaire. Real reported results. How to create a PayPal button. Current enterprise niches. Website contract example. Website contract example. Wow. You see this? Website lease agreement example. Who was planning for leasing? Paperwork, client templates, CRM. There's so much. There's so much. You, you probably logged in and you say, Jack, I only bought local website profits. What is your membership a mess, correct? It's kind of an, an, an how do you call it, a Wikipedia. Eh? A Wikipedia about local marketing. Yes, you're right. Okay, but you have, once you get used to it, you will find what you are looking for. Okay, so... Charles had found it. Yep. Now, finally, so there are two ways that I can demo now. Do you want me to do the ordering domain and set up the complete website, or do you just want me to show um, how to set up a website only? 
So website, just website. There's so much here. I know. Show how to customize website. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. So I assume you everybody's able to install a WordPress team, correct? So you're going to install a WordPress team. Then you have an installer plugin from the local team enterprise. And then you see local team jack. Okay. You click on niche websites and then wow, you see this? The one digital team. You see this? You select this. So let me show, I don't know which website currently is on it. Okay, I don't know. So let me open a new tab. This plumbing. I don't want plumbing. I want the digital marketing team, correct? Let me go here. I select the digital marketing team and import team. And I don't want to don't want to save page, so I click on no. And now uh, the digital marketing team get uh, installed. So if I refresh now, and now say, hey Jack, please give me the digital marketing team. And here I have uh, I show all the service I want to offer. You see this? So who asked the question how to set up a website? This is how you set up a website. You install a WordPress team, you upload the installer plugin, and then the complete website is done for you. Now, of course, you need to customize it a little bit, not much. So you go to the Ogre Team Jack. and you go to contact information now you're going to enter your information it's your address your name guys get it can I have a wow effect for the ones who are new on this training and never saw one click install website complete filled with content you didn't know that exists, correct? You never saw something like this. So that is Logo Team Jack Enterprise. Now, holy smoke, Jack! I came at your webinar for ten dollar product, and a whole new world opens. Yes, yes, and this is your start for this year. So, but now comes the game. Let's say I don't want to offer SEO. Let's say I don't want to offer local video marketing. So I kind of don't want to offer certain services. So I want to take them off the website. I only want to show the services which I'm going to offer. So you go to the home page and you see, you guys recognize it? Web design, lead generation, mobile friendly, SEO, Google AdWords, local video marketing. So let's say I don't want to offer SEO. Okay? I don't want to offer local video marketing and I don't, uh, mobile friendly is actually easy to provide. Let's say I don't want to do reputation marketing. Okay, and now I want to offer six services and I press update. Now, 
let me open this is a new tab so you see the difference and now you see this only the service you want to provide you offer you show guys get it you just delete it guys get it how easy things can be now let's say you maybe don't want to show a certain service right now but maybe you want to show it later so what you do is you see this symbol save say I want to save call tracking I save this module okay and you remove it and save it now call tracking is not getting to show anymore array but at a certain point we got to learn from Jack an incredible easy to use call tracking platform and now I want to show it on my website okay so you go back to your backend and you add the module and you add a custom module and here we have call tracking and call tracking is back you guys see this going to save this again so if you delete so if you save something before you delete you can put it back does that make sense you save it as a module or even you can say the whole row and you just can put it back make sense so there's also menu structure here our services so if you go to appearance where's appearance menus and then I make sure I select the main menu and we just said I don't want to offer SEO so I'm going to only show the services I provide and save this okay now you probably say Jack this is going too fast for me be honest you work with the team the whole day and you cannot expect that I remember everything correct what is the solution for that what is the solution for that so in the back end of the team we have local team Jack and we have tutorials and is Karen on the call tonight she did a heck of the job to organize all the modules and in the tutorials you see this so you just watch the related module guys get it you don't need to remember things you just need to remember where to find things okay so and if you would just want to offer social media okay you go back to the home page and each module you're going to edit a module or you can let's say I want to clone it and then edit and as uh, social okay and then you change the text and you upload another image and you link it to the page where you offer social marketing okay so you have to learn a little bit how those modules works but it's pretty simple everything is simple I never met something somebody who couldn't learn the local team jack monthly okay does that make sense 
did you expect? So we, we, I promise a step plan, correct? And one of the step is that you want to set up a website for yourself what shows your authority, which service you provide. And it is mainly for the business who are a little bit bigger and they want just to check you out uh, before they do business with you. But if you show a website that looks like this, you have built up that authority. They don't need to know that it's simple for you. Does that make sense? So, for the ones who are new, who bought the Sales Dynamite package? For the ones who are new, who has Sales Dynamite, Jack? Who has, who has that? Who has the enterprise? Yeah. And you probably think, oh my god, I bought and I got five emails, correct? Chuk, 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 is you get so much. So one of the one of the information was uh, local team Jack Enterprise. Okay, one of the, so to set up a website is part of the local team Jack Enterprise. That's basically it for today. I promise you a step plan, step plan, and if you follow the step plan, there's, I don't think there's much chance that you will not succeed. First is action. Second one is you need to go after clients. Third one is you provide or the third one is you you change you make sure in your mind that you speak with a business owner how you can help them to make money. Okay. Then you provide the service which you get paid monthly. You set up a website that shows that service and you make sure that you can provide the service, whatever it is. Google My Business Ranking, Reputation Management, Managed Hosting, or My Love Baby, Google uh, AdWords Management. So. Can you demonstrate the backup element? Oh yeah, I can. Oh yeah, baby. So, has a little bit... Uh, so, some of you uh, don't know Dubby Gateway. Do you know Dubby Gateway? Enter yes or no. I have some new members. So, yes, no, 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 yes, yes. So, one of my service is providing hosting on Amazon. And although Amazon is thousand times bigger than HostGator, they, they, you can only understand the interface if you are a server journey uh, so even I, I cannot do it I can so we created something like Dubby Gateway Dubby Gateway is an interface what is 100 times easier than any other interface I have seen for managing websites part of Dubby Gateway is backup is they do uh, w Gateway makes weekly backup. Now, the one thing really frustrated me in the past, once in a while, 
is if I update a plugin on team version or even content, things got messed up. Correct? What had that happen? You install the plugin and the site started to have problems. You did an update version and the update version didn't work out. So, in those cases, don't you want to have the option to create, to have a backup and you could simply uh, restore it if something got screwed up. Before you make those changes, don't you want to have an option that you can do a backup in two minutes? Not to, oh my god, what work for an hour. That is probably why you don't make backups, correct? Just takes too much time. Would it not be nice that you have a one button click in the back end of the WordPress team and you can create a backup? Nothing to download. And if you need it, easy to use for to restore. Now that is what uh, Charles, I think, uh, asked me to demo is, where's the back end? If you go to local team jack, there's an option backup, correct? Or it is part of the security plugin. Security plugin and it has backup. Now you have create backup now, correct? So if I create a backup now, and because I do now, now this code is so intelligent that it pings the P Gateway and it knows, hey, you have an active account on the P Gateway. And you just do one click, one click, and the backup is getting taken. Wow! Is that all what you need to do, Jack? Yes. So you see here the progress. And now, before I make any change, before you make any change, you can create a backup. Now, there are two different products, Duppy Gateway and Logo Team Jack, but they really work well together. Can I have another aha moment that you didn't know that exists? One click backup before you make changes, don't screw up. You need, one of the things I learned over time is you need to work with good tools, support it. You need to have a fundament, a strong fundament to um, strong for the man to, to provide service to your business. So, um, one of the things you probably need to change is you want to stop buying WSO products what have no recurring plan. What do you say, Jack? Yes, what have no recurring plan. So let me uh, let me turn it around. If a client pays you one time thousand dollar, and after three months. Uh, things doesn't work anymore, need some maintenance. Are you in, are you engaged? Are you willing to work for that client? Don't if they don't pay you monthly, what is your incentive to help that client? Don't would you be much more incentive if they have a monthly contract with you?
for maintenance, for service, whatever, then you are in, then you would much more willing to help them, correct? So it's same for local marketers. If they sell you a one-time product that has no recurring on it, they don't like to answer your question. They don't like to solve your bugs. But if you use that product for a client, <laughs> that client cancel very quickly when the website doesn't work as they like because they know the website is uh, is very important to their business. Does it all make sense? So you need to have professional tools. You need to work with professional tools to handle a quiet life uh, and you rest well at night and that you know tomorrow you're still in business. So does WP Gateway only work for local team, Jack? No. It works with, I, I mean, yes, I, I think it works with any WordPress site. It works with any non-WordPress site. Okay? But local team, Jack, is just easy integrated. Is there a way that I can show samples of the website? I can see how they look like? Yes. You can easily create sample websites. And you can submit a demo domain. And those demo domains doesn't count. They are, they doesn't count for credits. Oh my god. I think if you're new on this training, you're your heart, your head is bouncing, okay? You learn so much in an hour and I haven't shown you any buy button. Are you not, are you not uh, crazy now? How is that possible? So, if you're new to this training, if you're new to me, you need to remember one thing. Everything or not everything. Most things are on jackhopman.com. And on jackhopman.com you see the webinar replays, you see my most important products, you can also uh, send a support ticket, okay? So easy peasy. The only thing we need to, if you want to bookmark something, bookmark jackhopman.com. Does that make sense? And if you want to check out products, you go home on products and tonight we show the enterprise. Okay? So you can read more details about that. So there's so much to catch up. There is local team jack, the standard team, the enterprise team, sales dynamite jack, lead finder jack, the call tracking portal, the instant connect, the hosting, the P gateway, AdWords management, my favorite, W secure, Maps PSD, local profits, and elite mastermind. So there's a lot. Very, it's you know there's not much left. What you need and it's not available. So, what will be our next training? Our next training will be about Sales Dynamo Jack and especially the new Biz Prospector. Who has heard from the new Biz Prospector? Just enter yes or no. The new Biz Prospector is a web-based prospecting tool. And it's completely new. Completely new. And I'm going to demo that next Tuesday. So who would like to be that? Who would like to see? Who, okay, let me ask me this first. Who has already seen and used 
the new best prospector. Bradley said, I love it. So, who already logged in? Okay. So, what is the difference between the lead finder jack and the new base prospector? Lead finder jack is Windows based and the new base prospector is web based and is part of the sales dynamic jack uh, package. So I'm going to send you some emails about it um, probably this weekend. So uh, I just wanted to tell that next week Tuesday I'm going to demo it in detail. Okay? How the new best prospector works. There's a Windows, no, sorry, is a web based prospecting tool. It's not part of the enterprise, it's part of Sales Dynamite. Okay, would like to see the new best prospector? So next Tuesday, I see you all on this training, correct? And I thank everybody for your time. And I especially thank you for all those interaction and questions. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much.